Hello there and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to continue looking at the sequencer window in Reason and how to sequence in patterns. In the last video we looked at the combinator in the Redrum and we looked at how to edit these using the sequencer windows using both the drum lanes and the key lane. Okay, so basically um, when we switch back and forth between, let's go ahead and take all these lanes off. When we switch back and forth between these instruments, what usually pops up is their default. And like I said before, you're not rooted, per se, to these defaults. For instance, right now, my keyboard plays the combinator. But if I switch my actual keys over to the redrum, I'm now I can either play it there or on my control surface. But what happens if I, let's say, take these off and look at the combinator and go down? Notice how now my combinator, let's see, it should start right here at C1. My combinator is controlling the redrum. And the reason is that I'm showing the key lane and we're telling the keys to control the redrum. If I switch it to the combinator, that same note, that C1, let's get back to that. Whoops. There we go. That's now controlling the combinator. So this lane, which is called, or this column here called in, is, this is like the MIDI in. This is saying, what are you, is you, whatever you're triggering, whether it be on the screen or with a control surface, what are you going to be triggering? Okay, so we've looked at the combinator and the redrum. Now